Uh, today we are going to solve this problem number of students unable to eat lunch and it has been asked in flipkart seven times so before going into the problem i want to share something so if most of the students after seeing the description description of the problem they will get demotivated so by seeing the long description they feel like the pro problem is a bit complex and um, they will not they will think they are not capable to solve it but what i recommend is if the description is very big try to break down break down the description into simpler steps and take pen and paper and write all your observations all your observations and take few examples and try to analyze it so in the if you practice this way you will improve your understanding skills and as well as your analytical skills so now let's start solving this problem so watch the video till the end for better understanding so here the school cafeteria offers circular and square sandwiches at lunch box he is saying that in school cafeteria they are offering square and circular sandwiches referred by number 0 and 1 circular is referred by 0 and my square is ref referred by 1 all students stand in a queue all students stand in a queue i think you know what is a queue data structure each student either prefer square or a circular stand sandwich so there will be students which are present in the queue which are present in the queue they will prefer either they want the circular sandwich or a square sandwich the number of students sandwiches in the cafeteria is equal to number of students okay the sandwiches are placed in stack and is saying that all my sandwiches are placed in stack at each step if the student at the front of the queue prefers the sandwich on top of the queue top of the stack they will they will take it and leave the queue is saying that these are my students and these students uh this these are my sandwiches sandwiches are kept in a stack and here my student if this student suppose he want to take the square sandwich if it is matching he will take it or else he will go to the end he will go to the end then the opportunity will come to the next student opportunity will come to the next student he is saying the same here If the student at the front of the queue prefers the sandwich on top of the queue, they will take it and leave the queue. And if if it is matching, if he is taking, uh, suppose we have a we have we have students here and we have a sandwich. And suppose four students want to take the square sandwich, square sandwich. And if the if my queue also contains the square sandwich, if it is matching, what he will do? He will take take it and he will he will go away from the queue. if it is not matching what he will do that it opportunity will come to the next student and he will go and stand in the back for his next opportunity he is saying the same this continues until none of the queue students want to take the top sandwich and those unable to eat so this will continue this loops will continue until everyone will get the sandwich you are given two integer array students and sandwich where sandwich of i is the type of i sandwich in the stack i is equal to 0 is the top of the stack and student of j is the preference is asking okay these are clear so after seeing the description we feel like okay this is bit a complex description but after seeing the examples you will get the better idea suppose we are having students and sandwich you can see here now these are my students and these are my sandwiches and my sandwiches are kept in a stack and my students are in a queue or in a queue now front students leaves the top sandwich and returns to the end of the line making student now if you see here 1 and 0 it is not matching right what you will do my front student front student will go to back you can see here he went to the back and my sec, uh, my opportunity got to the second student 1 0 0 1 in this way if it is still it is not matched so then also it, i modified it and it the finally it got it got same 0 0 and we are popped it we have popped it so try to understand what exactly we are doing here here we have q and we are we are having stack so try to implement what exactly he is saying so we will do we will take one stack so we will take one stack sq sq means my stack q and this is um, student q and this is my sandwich stack consider this as student q and sandwich stack and these are all my inputs these are all my inputs now let's understand how exactly the flow goes how exactly the flow goes now these are my inputs 1100 and 0101 first i will compare this one with this zero so these are matching no right what what i will do this my this element this element will move here 
will move here and my all elements will move towards the left side so it will be 1 0 0 and 1 then i will check my this element and this element is matching no right it is not matching it is not matching so then i will pop it out and i will push into the queue and it will come here 0 0 1 1 now these and these are matching so i will say yes this is my valid sequence so i will i will remove both of them i will remove both of them then i will go here 0 1 1 and 1 0 1 same applies here now 0 1 which is not matching so i will go to the end this will be moved here and here my 1 1 is matching 1 1 is matching s yes. and we have 1 0 and 0 1 we will move it 0 1 and 0 1 so i will pop it 0 0 this is not valid and this is my valid and 1 1 i will pop it out finally we have left so here my answer will be 0 because every student got the every sandwich now let's see another example we have this student queue and this is my stand sandwich queue we have this inputs now as yes, my sandwich queue and my student uh, student stack is is matching student queue and sandwich stack so i will remove this and this is my valid sequence then it is updated to this sequence now if you see here one one zero zero so this is not matching so i will go to the back so it is not valid and we are coming here so still it is a not valid so you can see here zero zero is matching and my zero zero is matching so i'll remove both of them and this is my um, this is my new 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 queue and this is my new stack new stack and now we will see now if you see here we want zero zero but you can see here we don't have any zeros so we will check i will go back so my modified will be one 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 and then i will move one 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 and then i will move one 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 and the same element has occurred again same element has occurred again <coughs> if it is occurring again that means i will check if my count is three so whenever my queue is moving whenever i'm moving in the queue if if it is not valid like whenever we are move, moving it but still it is not valid so then we will check the count we will make the count variable and i will see if my count is matching the queue size if it is matching the queue then i will say it is not valid at all so i will break it out and i will return the size of my sandwiches size of my sandwiches that's it now let's implement what exactly we have done in the examples it's simple it's simple we are using the student queue we are using and we are pushing all the elements and we are using the sandwich stack and we are pushing from the back because we are pushing from the back because my top element will come in the top that's why we are pushing from the back and served is equal to zero because as you maintained here my count my count is important thing if it is not valid then then we need to break it out now i will check if my sandwich dot top is equal to student queue dot friend if my tops this condition if this and these are valid so i will pop both of them and i will make served is equal to zero so it is because because this is newly started element newly st newly started servings or else if this is not matching then what i will do is student queue i will pop it out you can see here i will pop this and i will push again i will push again and this will be my new updated sequence and served plus plus because we are increasing the served because you can see here if my you can see this this is never served because zero is not present in the student queue so this is never served so to get this counter count is equal to three we need to iterate so if my count is equal to three count is equal to three and my served is equal to three three and three i will break it out and i will return the student queue dot size so i think you have got it so here my time complexity will be order of n into n because any time so if we are at one element it will take n operations plus if it is not matching at all then if you are at another position it will take n minus 1 maximum plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 so so on it will be like 1 so n into n minus 1 by 2 so it will be like n square n square now interviewer will ask you so can you optimize it Ayush? can you optimize it so let's think how you can optimize this type of solution so i'll think okay now one observation is uh, total number of uh, square sandwiches square sandwiches square sandwich circular sandwich these are my counts square sandwiches are 4 my circular sandwiches are 2 and you can see here my my students students these are all my students and these are my SS CS and you can consider circular sandwiches are 3 
and three so this is not matching right these are not matching because we want four students who want to eat square sandwiches but you have only three you have only three so this is not valid so this this type of conditions you can check so you will you will say to the interviewer if my counts are not matching if my counts are not matching ss ss cs cs if it's not matching i will say break it so in this way i can improve a bit time complexity how you can optimize it more further so based on this counts yeah if if counts are there let's see this example we have students and we have sandwiches this is my student queue uh, square queue and this is considered this as sq and cq sq is my circular sandwiches a uh, square sandwiches and this is my circular now we have two and two now sandwiches we want zero this represents zero this represents one so it will be decremented to one and i want one again so it will decrement to one so then i want zero it will decrement to zero one zero so these are matching to zeros so, so i can say that all are my valid valid so i will return zero now let's see this example we got four and two we got four and two. first sandwiches are one so i will say as yes, this is converted into three then i got zero because you can see these are my students it can move anywhere it can move anywhere so if i want to make it equal to one element i will make i will make sure that my one comes to starting position because you can make any number of steps you can make any number of steps i will make sure that my one comes to the starting position so that's why we are maintaining this this is my ones and these are my zeros so square, uh, square sign which is are three now we are getting zero here okay i will say this will be direct to one then i am getting zero it will become zero then we are then we are having zero but you can see my circular sandwiches are done my circular sandwiches are done so what i can do here no right i ca i can't do anything so finally i will return this three i will return this three simple return this three so it's like simple i will try to explain you what exactly we are doing these are my circular student count and the square student count these are my circular student count and the square um, square student count and if i is equals to 1 we are incrementing the square student count if i is equals to 0 we are incrementing the circular student count and then we are iterating if my i is equals to 1 and my square count is greater than 0 i will decrement it or else i will say break because because if my square count has become 0 square count has become 0 but my sandwiches my uh, what i can say square student count has become 0 but in sandwiches i got a square sandwich so how you can assign when it is zero how you can assign to this so whenever there is some value you can you can modify it and you may you will try to assign the sandwich if it is zero you can't assign it also i will break it up same way applies for the circular student if it is greater than zero so it will be minus minus and we will break it up finally we are returning the plus so we are adding both of them and we are returning so in this way my time complexity will be order of n and my we are not using any extra space so it will be like order of n so i think you have got it so i have tried my best to explain you in a best possible way so in between i fumbled because of this variables because that i felt the i felt the variables were a bit complex so i think you have got it if you learned something new from this video please consider to like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and i have created a code with confidence whatsapp community you can join there there we will discuss bleed code problems and any interview stuff and everything and you can connect with me on linkedin i have given all those in the description please check it out i will see you in the next video till then bye bye